When we left you, we had just released 24 elephants into Mozambique's Zanav National Park in the middle of the night. Would the elephants even make it through to morning? Will they reconnect with the herd released in the previous relocation project? Their new habitat can be welcoming and dangerous at the same time. Years of poaching and a civil war have decimated the wildlife population in Mozambique, but now it's being replenished. Zanav National Park is a lush, dense, protected habitat that is ecologically perfect for an abundant variety of wildlife, especially elephants. The next morning, we set out to locate the elephants in their new habitat. Several elephants in the herds we released, as well as a few from the previous release, are wearing satellite tracking collars that transmit their general location every 30 minutes. In spite of that information, they remain difficult to locate. Nearly two hours into the deep, dense forest, our telemetry scanning antenna detects a collar signal. We're looking for the herd that we released last night, but we found the herd that was translocated last week. That herd also had a cow with a collar that is active, and we found that herd. Take a look at these fresh footprints. You can still see the demarcations on the bottom of their feet. We follow the signal, stopping every 10 to 20 minutes to pick up a new read. And then, nearly an hour later, a welcome sight. Fresh footprints at a watering hole. Our elephants have found water. There's tracks coming down. The elephants have been down here last night or in the early hours of this morning. Um, so they've found water. We know they've been drinking. Um, that obviously was our biggest, one of our biggest concerns uh, with the dehydration on the truck. 30 minutes later, another telemetry scan, and we have our first sighting of the herd. Quick glimpses of the elephants through the forest. The elephants are still guarded from the long journey, and this prevents us from a closer approach. But look at this. The drone relays an awe-inspiring sight. Our herd is thriving in Zanav National Park. Plentiful food, no fences, no borders, no boundaries. The 24 elephants we released have reconnected with the 29 from the first release. 53 elephants relocated safely into their new home. We know they're happy. We know the herds have gotten back together. You know, everything's as good as it can be now. They've got water, they've got food. They found, they found their family members. It's like a big party here now. <laughs> the news is great. They, they meet up with the resident herd. Um, they seem to be grazing quite well in the Mupani area. And I think for this elephants, it's probably something quite new. The areas they come from don't have Mupani. Um, so I think it's like a delicacy for them at the moment. Miles and miles of Mapani makes the Nav an elephant's paradise, but it's not a one-way relationship. The elephant's grazing will open pathways and create clearings in the vegetation that allow other species to thrive. There's a whole debate about elephants, the damage they do, but the fact is um, diversity is stimulated by disturbance. And that's what the elephants are here for. And, the, and to know they're actually adapting well and they're going to stay, I think it bodes very well for the National Park. Zanav National Park needed more elephants. And these elephants needed a home like Zanav. A true relocation success story. Zanav's carrying capacity is enormous. The long-term plan is for hundreds of elephants to be relocated here in the near future. Keeping elephants safe, this is what it's all about, and you can play a role in that. Coming up, we'll show you how you can get involved and hopefully help us make a difference.